and, and make it so it fits a slot. Possibly you're using him with Heemdale, so you guys are just gaining a whole bunch of life. I don't know. It, it's a little bit above average. And then we'll... Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the video. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Baldur. I know you guys have been waiting for the grade, so you get the grade and the video all at once. He's got 807 on his attack, another 696 on his defense, and 1326 on his health. Overall, his attack is extremely high. I really love the attack power over there. His defensive stats are pretty above average. In the normal range, it's pretty solid there. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To check this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, one energy refill, 100,000 silver, and one free champion, Adjudicator. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. All right, so I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. This hero special is actually really complicated, so let me break it down so it all makes sense, okay? It boosts the health of the caster by 1,000. If the health exceeds max HP, it is added as temporary HP. Max temporary HP is 100% of the max HP. Boosted health counters max HP reduction. So let me explain what that all means. Essentially, it adds 1,000 to his health total. It doesn't matter if it's below or exceeding where his health total is at. It's going to add any extra life total above where his life normally is at. And when he has that boosted health, it's going to fall into his next specials. Now, the important thing to also understand is say you gain that 1,000 life and he was only at 100 life and he gained that 1,000, even though he is not technically at his max HP, it's going to apply to his other hero specials below. So the other hero specials make it so all allies resist effects that drain mana for as long as the caster has boosted health. This effect cannot be dispelled. So essentially, if you've got a hero like Onatel that is casting into your heroes, it doesn't matter. It's not going to go into your mana. And especially if he has, it only applies if he has boosted HP, but it doesn't matter if it's above his max HP. Okay? And he deals 110 damage to a random enemy each turn for as long as the caster has boosted health. This effect cannot be dispelled. So if he, if he does have any additional boosted life, he's going to also throw 110 damage. So essentially, what you need to do when you're attacking into Baldur is A, make sure he doesn't expel his ability, but also you want to make sure that you reduce all of his added HP before you try and use a hero like Onatel, or just understand that even if he has some extra life, that he's going to be hitting you for the 110 damage. So let's take a look at his class. He is part of the Ranger Emblems, which means that he is fighting against possibly Sezshat, Evelyn, or Athena for the Ranger Emblems. Against a Titan, I'm not really too stoked on his abilities against a Titan. It might be super effective if you're like possibly lower level Titans. But as far as like the big monstrous 14 star titans, it's not really going to help you out too, too much. However, his attack power is at 807, which is really awesome and super helpful in the attack power slot as far as a hero. So you could still use him on the titans, but if you're going to use him, just know that he's going to only be there for his tile damage. So that's why he has an A- minus against a titan. When we take a look at him on offense, he currently does gain life quite a bit of life but as far as what he does when he gains that life it doesn't really help you out too too much it's not like Heemdale who goes ahead and he gives everybody a ton of life it's just himself 
It is at average speed. He does have some use to stay alive and kind of keep your heroes alive. I could see a more strategic plan if you're going to go ahead and use him. I'm not really throwing him in on a mono team, possibly for his tile damage, but as far as his specials, not really that great there. So he does get a B plus grade on offense. So let's see how he does on defense. Currently right now, he's gaining a whole bunch of life. He does do some other abilities. As far as the tank goes though, I'm not really sold on this hero fitting in at a tank position. He doesn't really do too much, especially with the boosted HP. You're not really worried about, you know, mana getting stolen too much. I don't know, I'm not really seeing him as a tank. As a flank though, he could see some usage there, uh, possibly to go ahead and, and make it so it fits a slot. Possibly you're using him with Heemdale, so you guys are just gaining a whole bunch of life. I don't know, it's a little bit above average. And then when we take a look at him on a wing grade, I wouldn't do that at all. So as his tank grade, he does have a B. As a flank grade, he does have a B plus. And in the wing, he's got a C. Overall, defensively, he does get a B grade. When we take a look at what he does on the rush, uh, he does get an A grade there, mostly because he's firing off his special at very fast speed. He's gonna be gaining a whole bunch of life. He might be really, really hard to kill. So I do see that he could have some use on the rush, uh, rush attacks, especially if they're gonna be using Teleria potentially. So I do, I do like this hero on rush. When we look at him on the buff, he does have a B grade there, mostly because he doesn't do too much in terms of his different uh, abilities. With that, I'm not really too sold on him in the buff tournament. And on Bloody, you definitely don't want to bring him on Bloody Battle because it's just not going to be good at all. He All he does is literally gain life. What I really did check was to make sure that he doesn't actually just break the system because maybe there's a little glitch in the system to where he's not technically healing. He's just increasing his health total by a thousand. But guys, you can't cheat the system. It's not going to allow you to heal without healing. So don't bring him in on bloody. I've warned you, it's not gonna work for you. So overall though, he does get a B plus grade, mostly because he does have a lot of ability on Titans in terms of his tiles. And on offense, he is there to go ahead and protect you. And on defense, he's still a little bit unknown. So this grade currently right now is a B plus grade. So thank you so much for checking out this hero breakdown. Hopefully this helped out a lot. Make sure you go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the content, and I'll check you out and see you on the next video. That all enemies receive 22, 37, 64 burn damage as long as any mess up. How do you, I don't even know how to say that. Mesopilium? I gotta look this up.